Hello and welcome back to the channel. How's your week been? I hope you've been achieving your daily goals that you've been absolutely crushing your daily goals and most importantly that you have improved on something that you are trying to improve. Now that's the most important thing, right? It's not about perfection, it's about moving in the right direction. Now, in this video, obviously, I can't teach you everything that's required with respect to permutation and combinations for the GMAT and GRE. But there is one thing that I can do for you in this video and that's my goal. And only that, 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 that one thing alone is the goal of this video, which is to help you differentiate between permutation and combination effectively. And that is the key to effectively applying these two techniques in various questions. All right. So being able to differentiate between permutation and combination would require that you thoroughly understand when to use permutation, when to use combination, or rather, what's the meaning of permutation and what is the meaning of combination. So let's try to learn that and let's have strong fundamentals built through this video and then we'll do one question. All right, so let's get started. And before we start, remember to subscribe to this channel. That would be a great motivation for me to keep making content for you. And also comment below, I subscribed and I will personally reply to you. So let's get started. So to start with, before we go and do a question, let's try to understand what is permutation and combination and what is the difference between these two. That's most important, right? We know that both permutation and combination are just two techniques of counting. But let's try to understand what's the difference between these two. And that helps to understand this thoroughly and effectively apply this whenever applicable. So to start with, permutation is all about selection and arrangement and combination is just selection. Now again, what do I mean with this, right? So let's take an example to understand this. Let's say I have four people, A, B, C and D, okay? So these are four people. Now you could give them some names like Abhi and Bob, Charles, and um, uh, Dennis, okay? So you could give them four names. So these are four people. Now, if we want to form teams of three people, okay? If we want to form teams of three people from these four people, okay? So we wanna form a team of three people from these four people. Now, this is an example of combination because you just need to select the people, right? Now, what do I mean with that? Now, let's say in one team, you have A, B, and C. If you say that this is one team, and if you say that another team is B, A, and C, okay? Now, these two teams are in fact one and the same. Would you agree with me? Definitely, right? So there is just one team where you have A, B, and C, and if you write it as B, A, and C, it's just one and the same. So these two are the same, okay? So you're just selecting three people out of these four people, okay? So when you want to solve a question which only involves selection, you use combination, okay? And again, this is a perfect example. Over here, we just need to select three people out of these four people. Now, there are multiple ways of doing it. I'm just telling you the meaning over here. We're not interested in the formula and the answer. We are interested in strong fundamentals. So the meaning of combination is just selection. So the ways in which you can select three people out of four people, that is what we mean with combination. And again, over here, we use only selection or we use combination because A, B, C, this team over here is one and the same as having a team as B, A, and C, okay? Now, what, what would be an example of permutation? Let's take that also over here. Again, let's say we have these four people, but let's say we want to seat these, uh, among these four people, three people on these three chairs, okay? So there are these three chairs, which are arranged in a line, in a straight line. And we need to arrange, we need to choose three people from these four people and make them sit over here. So let's say that's the question. Now, in this case, we would be using permutation. Now, why is that so? Because we have to select three out of four people and we have to 
arrange them in these three positions now what do i mean with that again let's take an example let's say in one possible arrangement i've the i've selected three people a b and c and i'm seating them in this manner a is sitting on the first seat b is sitting on the second seat and c is sitting on the third seat now in another arrangement over here i have b sitting on the first seat a sitting on the second seat and c sitting on the third seat now these two arrangements are different right even though it's about the same three people a b and c but over here you can see a is sitting at the first position and over here it's b that is sitting at the first position so these two arrangements are different right so notice over here in this case this and this was one and the same but over here this and this is different right so that's why in this case we will use permutation so permutation is nothing but selection and arrangement okay so we have to initially select three people out of these four people and we have to arrange them in these three positions so notice over here in the case of combination order was not important okay so these two were one and the same but in the case of permutation order is important okay so now we have thoroughly understood the difference between combination and permutation combination is just selection and permutation is selection and arrangement awesome now again we know the formula for in this case the answer would be 4c3 which is the way, number of ways in which you can select three things out of four things so that's 4c3 and c stands for combination and over here because we are using permutation the answer would be 4p3 and p stands for permutation so 4p3 is nothing but the number of ways in which you can select three items out of four and arrange them in three places now again just a quick side note over here <clears throat> because we have said that combination is selection and permutation is selection and arrangement right so over here we have seen that this is 4p3 i could write this also as selection which is 4c3 and then i have to arrange three things at three different places so that would be three factorial so you can also quickly learn that 4p3 is also equal to 4c3 into 3 factorial these two are one and the same and that's because permutation is nothing but selection and arrangement and combination is just selection awesome so i'm sure that you have understood thoroughly the difference between permutation and combination now let's quickly apply this in a question okay so over here we have a question if a team of three players is to be selected from a group of eight siblings consisting of four pairs of twins so that the team does not include two twins how many such teams are possible so pause the video give it a try and then let's take a look at this question together and again remember our main goal is not to just solve this question but to be sure that we understand the difference between permutation and combination so go ahead and give it a try and then let's take a look at this question together all right we are back i hope you have given it a try now let's take a look at this question together okay so in this question it says if a team of 3 players is to be selected from a group of 8 siblings consisting of four pairs of twins so that the team does not include two twins how many such teams are possible now in case you have not understood the question let's say these are the eight siblings okay and a1 and a2 this is one pair of twins so we have four pair of twins right so that's what's given over here we have four pairs of twins and the criteria over here is that we need to choose three players so that's a team and there is a constraint over here that in this particular team no two siblings should be included okay now how did you approach this question is this a question of permutation or is it a question of combination okay so over here notice that you have the word selection right so you just need to select three people from a group of eight siblings so whenever you are just doing selection we have seen that selection is synonymous to combination okay so if that was just the question then we could just do 8c3 right if you want to select three people from eight people 
the number of ways in do of doing that would be 8C3. But over here, we have some constraints also. Now, 8C3 would make some violations because there's this constraint over here. So the correct answer to this question would be 8C3 minus the violations. So this would be one way of solving this question. Now again, remember our aim is not just to solve this question. Did you understand why we have used combination over here? I hope you have thoroughly understood it because over here we are just selecting three people from eight people. And again, there are violations over here. Now, what would be another way of solving this question? Another way of solving this question would be, let, let's say over here, you have four twins, right? From these four twins, right? You can choose only three sets because from each set, you can have only one person, right? So let's, again, what do I mean with that? If I choose this set and this set and this set, okay? Now, over here, I can pick one person. From these two, I can pick one person. And from these two, I can pick one person, right? So from these four sets, I need to select three sets, right? So that's what I've done over here, which is nothing but four C3. Because again, C means combination, which means selection. So out of these four uh, sets, I have to choose three sets. That is four C3. And then I have three places, right? I have three uh, players. So let's say these are the three positions. Now, from these I can make two choices, right? I can choose A1 or I can choose A2. Again, we are we are selecting one person from these two, which is A1 or A2, which can be put in one position over here. Similarly, over here also, you could choose B1 or B2. So this is A1 or A2. This is, again, for this example, right? For this example, this is B1 or B2. And this is c1 or c2 all right so 8c3 minus violations so 8c3 is nothing but 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 3 factorial okay so this would be 8 into 7 into 6 by 6 which is which gives you 56 so 86 8c3 is 56 and then we have to do the violations now again how do we do the violations a violation would be if two people are included right so we have a, a set of three people in a team now these two should be from uh, one set or these two should be uh, siblings or they should be twins right so we have twins over here so there are four ways in which we can have twins in these two places right in the team so that's four for here and then let's say we have selected these two guys now we could fill anyone among these six people in this position so the number of violations is 4 into 6 just 24 so over here we have 56 minus 24 and that also gives you the answer as 32 okay so that's 56 minus 24 which is 32 so the correct answer to this question is option a again quickly revising what we learned in this video combination is synonymous to selection permutation is synonymous to selection and arrangement Order is important for permutation. Order is not important for combination. Okay, so that's what you have seen and all the best. So I hope you've learned something interesting uh, in this video and do subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video.